I was at the gym about 10 hours ago. I was doing a run. So I got my cardio with, but now we're gonna go again. And I'm tired, I'm sore. This is effective life! Five minutes on the rower. Uh, now we're getting into the to the main part of this, which is the actual pushing, pulling, and the. And today, what we're going to do is eight cycles of full body Tabata. Tabata training is a form of strength training. It's pretty intense. We're going to work in eight cycles. Each cycle is four minutes. Uh, in those cycles, we're going to be doing eight exercises. muscle groups as possible because I only do this once a week so I want to make it as effective as possible. When you do squats is if you have shoes like this which have an arch your feet aren't getting flat enough on, on the floor and um, that can just cause problems, so that's why I take off my shoes, I have clean socks. So we're going to be finishing this off with planks now. I hate planks, uh, but it's one of the best full body exercises and one of the best exercises for Tabata. Fam, we keep going and we keep pushing and just when it gets that little harder and you think you can't go anymore five more seconds people think I have something to prove like people ask Nick what do you have to prove the truth is I don't have to prove anything, but I'm here for myself, playing my own game, my own competition, trying to push myself and see how far I can go. This is not to do with someone else's results, someone else's statistics, someone else's drive and motivation. It's about doing it for yourself, and being satisfied with yourself that you're pushing yourself to the limit and you're giving your best. So I can go to sleep at night, fall asleep and think, well, wow, today I gave it everything, not only here in work, but in everything. And it starts here today, 7 a.m. now. Let's go up some eggs. Let's get go some, some carbs. Uh, Proteins. <laughs> I think for many people, it's interesting to see a UK supermarket. You could be in like Kuwait or Asia, Bangkok, I don't know where you'd be watching this from. We're back in the effective house. Now, um, we're gonna do some cooking. And someone asked me the question, Nick, what should I eat after going to training, after going for a gym session? I asked him, well, what do you eat now? And he told me, I go to Tesco and I get a, uh, a tuna, tuna mayo sandwich. You know this tuna mayo sandwich? <laughs> going to the gym five times a week, but eating tuna mayo sandwiches, that's how you don't build size. Uh, how you don't build strength. So what we're gonna make right now, it's a really quick and easy meal for a lot of you guys watching. Um, this is something that I do on a regular basis, all right? Just as important as going to the gym is eating 
Right, and eating foods that are packed with protein, vitamins, nutrition. Uh, what, are, what are in mushrooms again, Adrian? Uh, they've got antioxidants. <laughs> Antioxid. Loads of them. Loads of them. And that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make a very quick uh, protein packed breakfast in just five minutes. <laughs> Go for seeds, the multigrain that's got some got some colour because white bread is essentially not nutritious at all. Alright, that's it. Five minute eggs, protein packed. It looks great. I forgot one thing. Oops. If you're training a lot you need to replace the calories that you burn and the fats and, and energy stores that you lose. I love ketchup, the tomato sauce, wherever you're from. So let's go. Hi, I'm Martin, welcome to the show. But the inspiration comes from one guy that I follow on Instagram. All you need to follow is this guy, Corby Stimmer. It's nice, why not? Something's gonna be okay. She'll be right. Yeah, she'll be right. She'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my this hair cut. Yeah, she'll be right. She'll be right. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of football. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I like uh, Croatia. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna go to the toilet. One minute to go to the toilet and come back. I hope it's not number two. Oh, okay. oh, my oh. <laughs> I know. No, that's the train effect of life. Pushes to the limits. And go next mile. Even for me to go to the toilet. Today, just to film some film some stuff. We're here in London, and you can see, guys, it's a beautiful day. YouTube is typically a very difficult place to get in. Okay. And the second, sorry, are you still there? summer we set these three goals for Effective FC. One was to arrange regular training, second was to arrange our first 11 vs 11 match, and third was to secure players. We started the summer like this and I gotta tell you guys, like, it was really hard just to even get a pitch to keep doing the training. We had problems with getting like really talented players and we had problems arranging matches. 
maybe it's London, maybe it's the fact that we're new to London, I don't know what it is, but it was, it was hard and I gotta tell you guys, there was a moment where I thought, we had to stop it. We had to stop Effective FC, we had to maybe stop a lot of things that we're doing in Train Effective, maybe even stop the YouTube channel. But we didn't. And like in any situation you go through like that, I think we kept striving and kept saying, all right, you know what? Let's just find somewhere to train. So we found the pitch and we started training. Players from all across London were coming to train with Train Effective. And it was amazing. Great talent was on show. The kind of talent that really, I think, deserved an opportunity. Some people, guys, were coming two and a half hours away just to come for one training. That's why we then did our matches. So we had our first 11 versus 11 match versus the Beatties squad. What continued, what followed, was more opportunities for the players that got involved with Train Effective. So much so that we had a London football showcase in partnership with Performance, where they invited lots of scouts from the London area to give these 16 year old, 16 plus year old uh, players a chance to get noticed, to get scouted, to get recognition and players got picked up. This was also opportunity for our in-residence guests that came. We had in-residence guests, guys, like from all over the world. In the future, we're gonna have guests from Australia, Singapore, everywhere across the world. I think we're spreading a, a really good message and we're, we're gonna keep spreading that message. So those in-residence guests that came, now we're starting to provide a legitimate opportunity of not just, you can come here, come to London, and not just improve your football ability with John Moses and the two trainings a day and the effective house and everything, but get an opportunity too. We had a lot of fun too. Uh, street Panna, we're learning some freestyle skills with him and just a lot of fun in general because that's what we're all about. Positive, inspiring and having fun along the way. So Nick, what's happening next with Effective FC? When's the next match? Uh, I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people had the suggestion, Nick, Effective, join a league and we've explored that idea but there's just so many things that we need, so much, so many resources, people, money, all these things which are extremely difficult and challenging together. What my response is to that is simply this. We're not going to join a league yet, but Effective FC's aim is still to provide opportunity for all of you. We're going to still do showcases, we're still going to do single matches, and we're still going to document that whole journey here on YouTube. Um, but in terms of joining a league, in terms of you know my own pathway to, to pro through Effective FC for YouTube, well, that's going to come, just not right now, but we are working on it. kind of got me thinking like whether we should actually do more of these challenge things. If you think we should then let us know in the comments below and challenge me and Nick and see if we can do it. Yeah because I think even though we just did that bottle thing it relates with like long ball technique which if you haven't watched that video watch it here because that's how you improve your long balls. Um, so I think we can make things like educational in a way but challenging at the same time so whatever challenge you have as a suggestion for us, put it in the comments below. We'll take a look. Yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, Effective Fam, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was a little bit different for us today, uh, but I hope you got the main purpose, which was to give you an update about Effective FC and a different side of the Train Effective life. If you'd like to see more, make sure you stay subscribed. Uh, make sure you watch the last video. But until next time, really, all you got to do is stay, stay effective. effective.